What's up everyone, Willie Apple here, and today I'll just release the fifth beta of WatchOS 26 to developers, and hopefully soon they'll release it to public beta testers. In this video, I'll be showing you what is new inside the software. We got a couple things to talk about, let's get started. All right, for me, on my Apple Watch Series 8, the update came in at 672 megabytes. All right, what is new here inside of WatchOS? So the first one is it's that you'll see that the animation is now a lot smoother with the control center. Along with that, you'll see that liquid glass has been adjusted here inside of WatchOS. You'll see that when you press a button, it now reflects onto the icons once again, which is a little bit of an interesting behavior. Now it seems to be kind of inconsistent. For example, if I were to do that, it now shines, but then once I were to scroll, it immediately just goes away, which is a little bit of an interesting behavior, but we'll have to wait and see if that is permanent or not. Now the next change is that also inside the control center is that if you were to tap on the sound icon, you're gonna see that Apple has actually pushed this down a little bit. So you'll see that the X button's right here, it used to go pretty much all the way up here, but now it is now, top bar is now adjusted a bit, which is a little bit interesting to see. Now I don't know if Apple's gonna be rounding it like they do in iOS like that, but we'll have to wait and see if that's the case or not. Now the next change has to do with the notification center. You're gonna see that you can now see through the notification center, which is a little bit interesting to see. Personally, me, I think this looks really nice, kind of giving liquid glass vibes inside of watchOS which is really nice to see. Now the next one is that we have an icon change. You're gonna see that camera remote now has a different icon. Now personally me, I don't really like how this icon looks. It looks incredibly weird. We'll have to wait and see if Apple adjusts it or not. And it also looks like that the devices app, the one that you can use to ping your devices has also been updated here, which I think this one looks pretty nice as well. Anyways, that's everything inside of watchOS right here. Not too much to talk about. Now, what is next for Apple? I'm gonna say we're gonna get the sixth beta of watchOS here on the 12th right here. Now, the reason why I say that is because Apple typically moves to a one week cycle by now, and I think it's actually gonna happen. So either on the 11th or the 12th is when I will expect the next beta, and that's everything. So thanks for watching. Come on, subscribe. Download my apps in the description down below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.